tail of the tape for this fight. What a vital fight it is. An imaginative match. Barreras 35 now. Introducing the one and only Marco Antonio Barrera. Young sensation from Bolton, England. Introducing Amir I spoke to you both in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Shake hands, boys. Come on, shake hands. Good luck to you both. Extravaganza and trilogy with Eric Morales, who destroyed Prince Nassim Hamed and effectively sent him into retirement. He has to nurse his way in, speed up punch, but you can see already. I cannot get careless. He must keep those gloves, he must tighten that defence. But look how quickly it is. Good sense. So I'll put on their feet there. There is what a clash of heads. How bad is it? We'll find out. He's under heavy pressure. Can't let's go, Pereira. Khan has come in with the plan and you can see he's trying to execute it and his hands are up quickly. Barrera not managing to find the range yet in the opening round. Impressive. Very dominant early on. Now into a storm here early on. Minor fights really up at lightweight. Three weight world champion, a seven. You see the damage there. Remember that Barrera was so far up so good but it's very, very early. Don't get in the zone in front of Barrera. Barrera looks to unleash a, a left hook. He knows what Prescott did. He knows about Press of start from Amir Khan. Using his reach, using his speed after he throws a punch. And that's obviously what they've been working on getting quick. Marco Antonio Barrera. He'd be quite prepared to wait his time. Time world champion Barrera. But this is his 73rd fight now. You've got to watch those punches. He's, he's, hurt, he's, cut. he's hurt him and there's a cut. It's relatively minor cut. The blood now oozing. We think it's on the forehead. Breakthrough. A Khan. Oh, that's a dream start from Amir Khan. He showed here he has it in him to win this fight. Oh my god. I'm sure that was a clash of heads. I don't think he was hurt by a punch. I think it was a he's brilliant so far from Amir Khan. Well, if we questions his confidence, we don't question it. And looks a bit the worse for wear, Barrera. Thinking heavily, takes another right. Khan was all over him. Shouldn't have a bearing on the fight, yet you can see Khan there been what on. A little nick on the eyelid by the look of it from the same. Clash of hands, it was a heck of a clash, wasn't it? He's been around too long and been too much, done too much in the business. I think Khan also should come up with. He might be stung. He's looked flat in one or two recent performances, even bored. He shouldn't be bored. And that it always will haunt him. And he's caught with a left hand. This by Miles, and he's troubled. That blood is thick again. And again, it's into the eyes. These punches, they're shaking Barrera up. And he can't match him for speed. He can't even get started, Barrera. He can't cope with the speed of Khan. Looking to remodel him, rebuild him. But he can't let the... Dominant so far and unleashing the younger man. His corner with him. Well, he's got his brother, isn't he? Now as the main. Why the corner haven't done a better job on that? Maybe he's been throwing punches. He's not as vulnerable when he's letting his own punches. And he's throwing the punches, but there is that question mark about the punch resistance of Amir Khan. Into this fight. He certainly hasn't managed to do so far. We're not getting a chance to find out what, I'm, what Barrera has left because Khan is not allowing him to use. Later on in the round, well after the clash of heads. So, see the sharpness in the way Amir Khan delivers his goal. So, he's certainly been listening to Freddie Roach. Barrera's pride, though. He's dominating this at the moment. We always know there's a danger, but he's dominating the action. They've brought a cut man. They haven't done a great job with it. Shouldn't be bored here with 20,000 people and starting as an underdog. The Scranton is a tremendous athlete as well, working with him in Hollywood at the wildcard gym. It's a mask, a red mask, he's blinking away, he can't see out of that eye, I wouldn't think. Not much anyway, Jim. Set to let them go. Unless this pace slows, I don't see him getting into it. I can see big changes, Ian, I can see the hands coming back high quickly. I can see him spoiling inside when he's not throwing experience. Or does he have an experience? Enjoying himself almost in there at the moment. Khan spearing out the jab and the speed is blinding. It's very impressive. He took it. He took that one. That was a fair left hook. 
from Herrera. Good news for Carl. He took Tony the Herrera from early on from that hair clash. That's a nasty gash. That is a terrible cut. I don't think oh, anybody... Good with it. But it is a big gash. And that blood is going to flow again, as if Herrera didn't have enough. He problems. retired a couple of years ago. Something's lured him back. Don't think... He... So, we wondered, have they addressed the flaws? They certainly have. Don can. He just can't cope with the speed of Khan's punching. That's a bit better. Mexicans don't usually quit, do they, in the corner, no matter what it is. It's a horrendous cut, and look, he's actually up and he's, and he's fighting a little bus and it's not single. And everybody up after that. Went to press conferences within days, did all the interviews. It must have been hard on his armor, but it's something he's going to have to learn to live with, maybe. Problems. At 35 years of age, trying to resurrect his career, he retired. Herrera is forced back. He's just finding this talented youngster way too much at the moment. He's trying to take the fight to him, and when he is trying to fight, Khan goes missing from it. When Herrera tries to together, rest. look at it. The blood's actually spurting from that head wound. You have to wonder what the doctor what to do in this fight, but he's still in there. And he's dangerous all the time he's in there. The Ian, you can count. Speed and class from Amir Khan here tonight. Right. Growing in confidence, Khan, he's turning it on here. This place so far, we stressed so far from Amir Khan, who showed really that he has played what it is. He'd need two broken legs to quit Herrera in his heyday. Well, he may be taken out of their hands because the blood is running into his leg. Test that blood again into the eye. And Herrera will go back to his the damage. I don't reckon they can do anything with that. Boy, Tony Rivera, by the way, Boy. is Herrera's cut man in that uh, corner, trying to do that. But uh, it's like trying to stand a Khan who says the boy has now become a man. Tonight, even with Herrera's cuts problem, his only other trip to Britain knocked out Paul Lloyd in a round at the Royal Albert Hall. Khan's after him again, left hook. Khan should be switched on to that fact. A new maturity about him. Punches off, quick, accurate, sharp. Thumbs up, that's the new Khan. Gives a little sign to the crowd there. Change. Just keep executing the plan, which is working to a treat. We've complemented every aspect. I think maybe this is an effort he's going to launch here. He's going to go for it, isn't he, now? Yep. Look, it's all working for me, isn't it, he's saying? Listen to the crowd here, or try to, before the cut stops me. And that's the gamble he has to take, but has he got the speed to get there? He looks so sharp and snappy, doesn't he, here, Khan? And I'm so impressed, and he's put them on display tonight. There's one lingering doubt was the chin. Well, they've dealt with that. No, I'd love to think that maybe the defeat by Paredes Prescott he could look back. I don't think Khan should stop doing what he's doing and it's working so well. Don't go on the defensive, don't change. Okay, fast. There's that going on, says Pereira. There's his pride. But he, I don't think he'll be going on indefinitely. To a man who is an icon of the sport. He's landed a beautiful right hand. I mean, there's so much confidence in him. Mean, you can see the plan he's come into the ring with. He hasn't deviated in the slightest from it. No way they can do anything with that. Fifth round. Red trucks. Oh, he's miles ahead at the moment. One punch to rescue this fight from the depths. You know, using his feet when he has to use them. Look at the accuracy in the right hand again. He's throwing them under pressure. So he's not set for them. He's not set. Oh, right hand there, and that one did have an effect on Khan. Alarm bell. Khan has spent 110 rounds to prepare for this. Or if the cut did stop it, the accidental clash of heads, they just go to the scorecards anyway, they're in. And again, like he's gone, four completed rounds. Just can't get up out of a car. Is it to say I'm all right? At the moment. Okay, we're only in round five. But everything's still working. But even the punches Barrera's throwing, he's throwing. He has all the physical advantages and he's using them. I'm here up for the punches. So the loose snap in them all. Look at this. 
been called up twice and not stop it the second time. Very unusual. If he doesn't stop it this time, very unusual. It's over. It's a night of redemption for Amir Khan. Two minutes, 36 seconds in round number five. Our referee in charge, Dave Paris, stops the contest upon advice of our ringside physician. Now, ladies and gentlemen, according to the rules, we go to the scorecards, all three in favor of the technical decision winner, Amir.